to the Everest. Let's see if we can get these radius rods figured out. I'm just gonna find the midpoint on everything here and then just work off that. What I ended up doing was just cutting out a section right below that cross member and then welding in that chunk of three inch flat bar uh, with the radius rod mount on it. And obviously that's not done yet. I got to put in bracing on both sides and I kind of want to tie it in, uh, tie it into the cross member. So I'll have to widen that out just a little bit and then probably just tie it in with some flat bar. But for the first time, it's sitting there all by itself. No more ratchet strap holding it together. Should mention here too, the only thing that I'm really trying to do um, lengthwise with these things is make sure that the ski spindle is straight up and down perfectly vertical not canted out one way or the other um, on a lot of the older sleds the radius rods were just like the steering linkages they had uh, heim joints on both ends so you could adjust them and then adjust the camber of your skis but for whatever reason the ones on the ZX did not have adjustment they were just set length and that's what you had I suppose let's get back to work Pause here because UPS just brought us a present that needs to be opened immediately. So we got a new track. This is supposedly off of a 97 Summit, but I kind of doubt it's the original track to that machine because this thing is like mint. Um, first used track that I've looked at that doesn't have any lugs ripped off of it, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's an inch and a half lug. It should fit on the F chassis with no modifications. I think I could go up to a two inch lug on there if I drop down a, uh, a tooth in drivers. Um, and I'm not sure if it's gonna fit the Everest either. I think what's on here is like an inch lug. I've been calling it inch and a half, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's an inch. I've never actually measured it though. Um, and the only place that I have to worry about clearance on here is just between the drivers and the bulkhead. Um, I mean, I can fit my hand up in there, so I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. I guess all we can do is just try and toss it on there and see how it fits. But um, I know for sure that this will fit on the F chassis. So worst case scenario, it's going to go in there because right now that still has that just whatever it is. I think it's like a three quarter inch lug that was the original track to that machine and I mean that one's in good shape it'd be a good trail track but um, probably not going to do us a whole lot of good in the powder so uh, it'd be nice to get this on there something with a little bit more bite um, but as we get closer to winter here we'll just have to see um, what direction we go with this and which machine it ends up on but so if you have a preference which one you'd like to see it on just let me know I have a feeling a lot more people would probably like to see it on the Everest and to be honest with you, I think I'm probably going to try and fit it on here. Um, I'd at least like to see what it looks like on there um, and see how the little 503 performs with it on there. I'm not sure if that would be too much track for it or not, but only one way to find out.
All right, we got the upper radius rods mocked up, just sitting in place right now. I just gotta measure center to center on each one, make sure they are uh, the same distance, center to center on each side. Got the mount just sitting there, uh, centered right on the midline of the belly pan. Everything should be good to go, should be ready to be tacked in place and then full welded. Got a little bit of trimming left to do there on that side of the belly pan, but we'll take care of that later. Um, yeah, so let's measure this and then get it welded in place. Got about 15 and 3 eighths on the left side. I'm going to call that good enough. Everything looks symmetric with the trailing arms on both sides. I don't want to mess with it too much because I had to screw with it a little bit just to get it as close as I have it right now. But I think this is going to be good enough for us for all intents and purposes. So let's get that welded. So I'll measure this one more time too. Three inches, center line. camera but you guys got to be able to see that I would imagine she's got some rebound so we must have did something right I still got to full weld the sleeves on the uh, upper radius rods and then add more bracing to the rod mount I'll probably take care of that next I think I'll probably pull the radius rods out and full weld those and then once that's done I'm either gonna start working on the steering or take care of the trailing arm mounts back there I'm kind of leaning towards the trailing arm mounts I'd like to get these just solidly um, in place, bolted down, welded in, whatever you want to call it before I start worrying about steering because I'm kind of stupid and <laughs> uh, the steering's probably going to take a little bit of thinking. Um, just trying to piece together something with what I got here. If I had a TIG welder, I think it would actually be pretty easier or pretty easy. But since I'm just working with uh, steel and the flux core, it's going to be a little bit harder uh, to get something thrown together, but I think I'll be able to handle it. So. We'll just keep pressing forward, but this is looking good so far.
Don't have every bolt and every hole yet, uh, just enough in there for some support. I'm going to have to take it all apart again anyway. Uh, but this side turned out pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and knock out the other side now. Just going to be a mirror image of this side, so I will catch up with you guys when I'm done with that. Well, I'm generally not the type of person to pat myself on the back, but that turned out really good. I'm very happy with both sides. Don't think it could have turned out really any better than it did. So that definitely seems like the way to do it. If you're thinking about doing this, I would definitely try to snag yourself a donor sled and just grab the trailing arm brackets off of it. That would have been kind of a pain in the ass to fab those and make them myself, and this turned out turned out really well. I'm actually pretty surprised at how well this is going overall. Uh, didn't expect it to go this smooth, but the uh, steering linkage, I think, is going to be the thing that's going to slow us up here. It's going to take me a while to get that figured out um, and get it done. There's just not a whole lot of space in there to work. Um, and whatever... I end up putting in here is actually going to have to run underneath um, the engine, the engine plate, engine mounts, whatever you want to call it, which I don't think is going to be that big of a deal, but I do think it's going to take some thinking. So overall, I got to say I'm pretty impressed with how well and how fast this is going. I think it's only been about two weeks since I made the first cuts into the belly pan, and there's not a whole lot left to do, other than the steering, dropping the front of the skid, and then just going through and doing all the trim work and bracing. That's really all that I can think of. Uh, as far as major stuff that needs to be done yet. Well, I guess, and routing the exhaust, which could be a little bit of a pain, but I think I got an idea as to how I'm going to get that done. Other than that, I still got to go through, strip everything down completely, um, put a coat of paint on the belly pan, and then I want to do something with this hood, too. Uh, the fiberglass has a few cracks in it that I want to get repaired. Um, I'm probably not going to paint it. I'm going to leave it black, but I think I'll peel off all the old decals and maybe throw some fresh ones on there. But other than that, not a whole lot left to do, and I can definitely see this thing hitting the snow as soon as it starts to fall. If you made it this far, I appreciate you watching, and I will definitely have more coming for you soon. So, thanks a lot guys, take care, and I will see you in the next one.